Hey everyone, it's the History Nerd, back for another episode of Victoria 2, The Rise of the South. Now, uh, yeah, I started recording the video, in case you're wondering how I wound up right on the map screen. Uh, I started recording the video and then realized I didn't bother to write down the comments. And, uh, figured I should, uh, should probably just stop, write them down. So... Uh, Matt, D. Turker Germs! That probably sounded absolutely horrible, and I'm sorry for it, but I couldn't resist. Uh, yeah. Them Yanks protecting Panama. But you know what? It's, it's, <clears throat> why are you yellow? What do we got going on here? Last I checked, you could support, oh, why are you such a tiny province? 42.3, and you're 30. So you shouldn't be yellow. Ah, uh, I see what's going on there. Oh, no, wait, no, that's... I thought that was the supply levels, but it certainly wasn't. It's the experience of whoever's in charge there, so... <laughs> Incorrect theory. Uh, and I am Nufi. As soon as I saw the release for uh, Rome 2, I knew I was going to get that on release day. I, I swore myself off of Total War games after Empire. I, like, the release of Empire was really bad in my opinion. Just the game didn't seem... You guys should go hunt those rebels. Okay, good. Uh, it, it, it just didn't seem like a a fully fleshed out functioning game. And I, and, and I got Napoleon, and I never played... I, I really haven't sat down and played that game. Um, and I don't even own Shogun 2. But! Uh, I absolutely, totally loved the original Medieval Total War, and the first Rome Total War, I put a ridiculous amount of time into that game. So, uh, yeah, when... What? What'll be... What'll be best? We'll get some more tax efficiency. Uh, when Rome Total 2 get, comes out, I'm doing that. Uh, I'll be getting that as close to release as I possibly can. So, when it's out sometime in the future, uh, you can look forward to me doing a video of it. In the meantime, if you want uh, a Total War video, I'm absolutely open to it. I'd stay away from Empire. That would be an exercise in frustration for me. Um, but, I mean, looking at Shogun, it looks like it's a fairly decent game, and it looks like they uh, they were able to put out a good product. So I, I'd be interested in doing a Shogun. Uh, I could do a, a Rome 1, you know? So, so whatever you want to see, let me know. And uh, yeah, I think a Total War game would be would be kind of fun. It's been a while since I played one, so expect me to be rusty. But yeah. So let me know what you want to see, and I will happily, hopefully, oblige. Uh, I realize that's kind of in, you know in direct opposition to your request for Hearts of Iron Three, and I was like. Pfft. Not gonna do that, no no way in hell. But any Total War game, yeah, I'll give it a shot. It sounds like fun. So their money's slowly starting to tick back in here. Probably because of our stupid tariffs. Holy crap! That's a lot of debt. But we'll be okay. We'll just keep borrowing money. It's that'll never end up badly. There we go. So we're we're coming back coming back around. Um, the crappy thing is one of the best ways in these games to uh, you know start making money again is to just cut your military. I have a feeling. The moment I delete any military units, the U.S. is just going to come storming for me. So we're kind of stuck. 
the the nice thing looking at it here, like the the American fleet is looking like it's fairly decent. And sure, they've got fifty one units or fifty one thousand, yeah, fifty one thousand people in Washington D.C. at the moment, and still five in freaking Manassas, jerks. But um, with a navy that big, I have to think a lot of that. Well, maybe not a lot, but a fairly substantial chunk of that military score is tied up in navy naval assets which for a war with america doesn't mean jack so yeah hopefully we're not too far behind militarily i don't think we are i have a feeling if they outnumbered us they would have uh they would have declared war by now Well, well, the country sorts itself out. Let's take a tour of the world here and see what's going on. Europe is not looking like it's changed much in the past 20 years. Prussia's remained fairly inactive. Uh, Russia's looking fairly big, as it always is, and it still owns Alaska. Whoops. More anarcho-liberals, eh? Just an annoying aspect of the game. Anywho, moving on. Yeah, let's keep popping up. Yes, yes. Uh, looks like Japan hasn't done that much. They have civilized, though. Or westernized, or whatever they call it in this game. So, at least they've been able to accomplish that. Australia. Wow, the Dutch have been doing some doing some work. Oh crap. Too quick on the space bar. Ah, oh, look at that. Africa's actually usually when I play this this is just like French, right? Up right up to Egypt. So this is kinda cool. There's actually looking like a bit of a scramble for Africa going on between the French, the, the Brits, and the Dutch. The Portuguese down there and up there. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm impressed with Africa this game. Pretty nifty. Oh, we should check out... We should, we should check out our expanding sphere of influence, too. I mean, this isn't all that different, but oh, it looks like Chile may have, may have lost the award to Argentina, but what have you. Next technology. Should probably get our infantry a bit more... a bit more, uh... streamlined and efficient there. Ticking along, so I guess we should we should probably figure out. I mean, it looks like America is not really gonna gonna come invading, and we don't really have the ability to punch into them yet. So, that being said, we gotta do something, right? Like we can't just sit here and hope we stay in fifth place. We need to do something to get ourselves out of the second tier of great powers and really get into the first tier. The Prussians, the, the Americas, the France, and the Great Britons. So it looks like I've got to basically double my score to even attempt to get into the Prussian levels. That's going to be a little bit difficult. Step the first. We need to find some sort of target or some sort of place. <clears throat> now I'm thinking Cuba. Now I'm not thinking Cuba anymore. 
Look at their alliances. There's a satellite of me. Who isn't in this region? Why does that look differently now? Whatevs. Okay. So all of these are colonies. We're not going to be able to go after them. Oh. No, not if they're in the sphere of America. Hmm. Well... <clears throat> let's just, let's just take a look for a moment at what Chile can offer us. Wool. Wool. Fruit. More fruit. Grain. Grain. Higher. That's handy. Oh, this is, there's actually quite a lot going on in here. I'm just like randomly skipping through. Right, okay, so we got these guys covered. Right, with fruit, grain, 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 iron, iron, fruit, grain, grain, fruit, ooh, precious metals, and iron. Okay, so, <clears throat> here's what I'm thinking. Chile, they're not aligned with anybody, except for Uruguay. Yeah, that's that's not a concern. It's time for the Confederate States of America to intervene in South American policy. And I think we're going to do it by invading Chile. Now, the first group we're going to send in is the 8th Army, I believe. We'll just load them up into the transports uh, and send them on down. Now, because they don't have any alliances or anything like that, I'm not too concerned about having to keep the Panama Canal open. I don't think that'll become an issue for me, uh, but we'll find out. Now we're going to do this straight up colonial style. We're just going to show up and say we're taking it now. Alright, so we can see here, landing zones nice and clear. And what is this, just hills? Yeah, we'll just start north and head south. And I'll probably shuffle in another military unit somewhere along the way. But we'll see we'll see how effective the Eighth Army is. Diplomacy. Justify a war. Uh I'm not, I'm not sure what we want to do here. If we just want to bring them in, if we want to puppet them. We'll acquire a state. Uh, it's going to take a year to do that. Okay, at the sphere, 167 days. Can we just... No, so we're going to need to get a justification of war. Damn. Okay. <laughs> first things first, send you back to Panama, or Balboa. Then, <laughs> we'll work on justifying war with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Acquire a state. So we've got a year. A year to build up another landing force. We're getting pretty close. That's not at all what I wanted to click on. Military.
Hmm. I don't really want to waste guards on a colonial adventure, so... Hmm. What do we got there? Eight infantry. So we will build... Eight guards. Done. Set Richmond as the rally point, and then split out all of the infantry. Alright, so the only reason I did that <coughs> is for uh, just the appearances of having the Army of Northern Virginia still protecting Richmond. And, uh, yeah, I'm nerdy that way. I will do things like that. <laughs> Ecuador. Right, this is the expansion. We're all opposed or hostile to the U.S. Good, good. There we go. So I'm done purchasing... Goods for the military, and I'm going to start paying down our loans. Not with all our money. But with some of it. Those guards are actually moving out. Doesn't doesn't really look like they are. Why are they going there? That's so confusing. Stop it! <laughs> moving? You are. Uh, yeah, limit them. Then. Stop it! We don't want anybody to be in favor of residency. Brazil! And... 
Wow, 1836. We're a bit behind in our commerce deck. What are you going to do? Oh, we need to upgrade their weapons. Oh, Haiti. We got your back, buddy. <coughs> The reactionaries and conservatives are still getting a massive proportion of the vote. Army tech, industry tech. Uh, that's really all we are researching. I'll mull that over. Really like to get some of this electoral reform. Have we got any movements for that? No. None. None at all. So we got infamy, but we still don't have a reason to go to war yet, eh? That's frustrating. Whoa! Why are these guys reactionaries? Interesting state of affairs in the world. More anarcho-liberals. Oops, that was in the red screen. Venezuela. There we go. Alright. So now we can go to war with him. We'll just clean up the uh, little rebellion going on here. Come on, come on. Okay, we're safe. Back on the boats, gentlemen. Down to Chile. Oh, we're sucking money down the drain again. Which really is why we need to go to war. That's that's just what that says. Diplomacy. There we go. Durr. Acquire state. So which is the one that I want? Do, 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 do. Neither of them? Wonderful. Okay, so... blind? That all looks like it's Santiago. Ah, oh, Los Rios. There we go. Well, I mean, that's okay. Still, we'll take Los Rios then, declare war. Proceed. Wonderful. Away you go. Oh. 
Is that a Chilean fleet? Good to know. All the way back to New Orleans. Might, might not be a bad idea to, to go ahead and work on our industry, too. Peru! I just don't know what to do about the economy. I just like, just give me the ability to raise more taxes. That's all I want. After so long... Oh! Look at that! Okay. Into Panama City. Can't have that. Over some of their losses before we slap them on a ship. And keep moving. No, come on, come on, just just fight us, Chile. Old Stonewall Wofford there. Hmm. Uh, the fifty percent chance of losing militancy. I have a feeling that didn't work for me. But we'll see. So are they still sitting there? It doesn't look like it. And... I have a feeling we lost an infantry unit. But whatevs. Just make it safe. Booyah. Sorry for making you all watch the pause screen there. That was fairly rude of me. Alright. So I'm hoping to just leapfrog the occupation here, now that I've got the two armies going.
it will obviously send a bigger army with guns against the capital. Wonderful. Slowly becoming more efficient. Yeah, cheap iron's probably a good idea. Ecuador! I'm fairly impressed at how quickly we're just eating up South America. It's a... F I guess it's an ignored area by the AI, which is it's good good for the human player. Gives you a spot to really pick up some some global markets. What do you want, Chile? No. Why would we sail halfway across the world with military units? Isn't that lovely? We are in it to win! Although losing the war exhaustion is not bad. How are we war exhausted at all? Um. Find that. Politics, maybe? No, that's where it was. Population. Military. Or exhaustion. <laughs> no, don't need it. Don't need it. We're in it to win. This is nice. These colonial wars are much easier to fight. <laughs> Decline. Can we add more war goals? Well, against preferably someone we're at war with. Doesn't look like we can. Oh, we can, we can! I totally missed that screen. Out of war goal. I really don't think that's going to be all that helpful for us. So we'll just we'll make it a puppet. But you see, now we want both. So we're going to take the land and make you a puppet. Frame rate starting to drop. Really got to figure out why that happens. Come on. Decline. help 
zoomed all the way in. <laughs> if I can get all the way in. Alright, I know what worked before. Bear with me. And there we go. Declined. Well, we, we haven't had issues fighting them so far. So, we'll probably take them there. Come along. Why are we paused? Come on. Why are we paused? Because I paused us. That that would be why. I'm worried about this, though. Come on. Brazil. Excellent. Nope. Oh. That's, that's looking kind of concerning now. But it's all good. We've got more men to help. How good we won. So we'll... Send you guys up there to rest. How close are we to even reaching our goals of Chile? Peace value of 121. Yeah, that might not happen. Well, if we, if we fully conquer their country, which is going to be a pain once we get down to this region. That's why I don't really want to uh, conquer all of them. So maybe, hmm, maybe we'll have to do this as a two-pronged approach. We'll just take their land. Now, I don't think we're going to extend slavery, because I don't think we did that in Panama. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, bear with me. Alright, so it isn't, so we won't. Excellent. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So, let's take a look at the movements. And the most popular movement is the abolitionist movement. So we are going to extend freedom and completely outlaw slavery in the Confederate States of America. That's made a lot of people conservative now. But whatever. We're better off. Now we've got a larger portion of our population that can socially advance, which is just 
going to be a good thing. <clears throat> and given the state of the recording, I think I'm going to leave the video here for now. We've successfully expanded into Chile. Bear with me. So, yep, we have successfully expanded into Chile. Got some... Got some raw materials going on here, so that's good, and uh, yeah, I think this is a good place to leave it. So, thumbs up if you've enjoyed this episode of Victoria 2. Leave your, come along now, leave your comments, questions, concerns, jokes, musings, thoughts, um, requests, ideas, you know, just, just whatever you want. Leave them below, and uh, thank you guys very much for watching. We'll see you next time.